I'm going to get started in a second here, just finding my place in the book. Cats and kittens, welcome back to Horror Hardcore. It's uh, currently, I think, world world eighteen. Personal best this day is nine days of survival. Uh, I can't sleep uh, through the night, uh, so I basically have to sit up in a crow's nest every night. And so we read the books of blood by Car Clive Barker. Uh, we're currently reading the Midnight Meat Train, and uh, yeah, it's getting really good. So, let's start. We got day one all queued up here. Uh, let's go. We just started this world. I decided to spare you the, uh, the world generation this time. We can jump right in. Don't need that. Okay. Just have to monitor my uh, my sound levels for the music. That's not too bad. Oh, them raccoons! Yay, raccoons! What? What? Where? 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 Okay. Okay. Let's go. I am not today, sheep. The zombie. Right away, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Fucking how many? Oh my, okay, okay. This ain't funny. Stay back, stay back. <laughs> Yay. Well, we're off to a hot start. Eating up farm animals. Uh, trying to eat me. There we go. Yeah. Whew. And we got all them cows and some more sheep. This is great. This is great. Did I get any leather? No leather. Okay. No mind. We need wood. We gotta start this right. All right. Oh. I'm gonna try to make this my best run yet. I want to be able to go the whole stream on the same life and not die. See if I can but if I can beat nine days. I heard them. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> no. No. It's still coming for me. Do you do you ever lose sight of me? Do you do you ever? It's 
No. How do you get away from a bee? Shit. <laughs> okay. I need to circle back around because I need them, uh... I need that leather. I want any hope of getting a backpack. It... I don't know where it is. I'm just going to go around this way. Oh, no. Seagulls? No. No, 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 no. No, not seagulls. Trapped between bees and seagulls. Okay. Those are just flies. That's fine. Well, it's teeming with life at least. I don't see no bees. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Emma, Emma. Excuse me. You're both dinner. And a backpack. Nope. Not at all. Please, give me your leather. Do I have to use a bladed weapon or something? Okay, no, there we go. It's just bad RNG. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna need food soon. No, no. Not gonna be farming, so yeah, you. Oh man, I should just make a. I should just make an, an axe already. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Don't have to worry about that bee. Okay. 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 What am I doing? Just prance around here without any. Yeah. Do that. Without any tools. How dumb. Alright. Cool. Good start. I'll grab more wood in a second. Where'd that cow go? Where'd cow go? No. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Or did I get them all? Maybe I got them all. I certainly, I don't need the sheep. Ooh. Except for his food. What the fuck was that? Whoa! 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 No, not, not today, sir. No, not today. Um, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna tower. Oh, here. This is fine. This is fine. You coming for me, bud? Let's go. One, two. Let's go make it three. Okay. Just you. Cool. I might get something good. Shit. I need to eat. Oh, I don't want to eat raw meat. No. No. What am I going to do? I need stone. Stone is what I need. Yeah. Maybe there'd be some exposed near the edge here. Well, it's going to suck if it gets nighttime and I don't have enough blocks. stone. I can make a shovel and dig. Oh, oh, oh. Going for it. Going for it. Come on. Two more. Okay, that's enough for furnace. One, two, three. There's a stone axe. One, Two, three, there's a stone pick. GTFO. GTFO. Get the hell. Get the hell out. Okay. Okay, real quick. What do you have? Cool. You got like one swing with it? Great. 
Um, oh, what am I doing? Make the furnace. Oh, yes. brain, brain, let's go. There we go. That's better. Also, boat. Spooky music. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, I still don't have like ready to eat food here. I should probably actually just kill those sheep. Oh fuck! No, now they're far away. Okay, I'm gonna explore the coast then. I should probably grab some more wood. The sun is setting. I am dead if I don't have this. As we use the wood first. That's good. Feel pretty good about that. All right. I have way to stack up. Oh, I can't make charcoal now. That sucks. Uh, interesting. Not going down there. That means there's a city nearby. Always on the outskirts. Oh, okay, okay. Just crows. There's the city. Boy, all oh, the music's getting just like, just at the right spot. Oh, what the hell? Interesting. It generated that house and then <laughs> What? No. Okay, zombie pig? Fine. I also see seagulls. Oh shit, they're everywhere. Fuck. Nope, not fucking around with you. Fuck it. Yeah, you can have it. You can have it. I am running. Interesting. Interesting. I think I want to... Mm, nope, don't want to be in there. See what's over the hill here. There might be a village? No, nope. single structure? What is it? Oh, I recognize the structure. Uh, I don't want to fuck with them either. Okay, up we go. Up, 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 up. Gonna be right here. I watch and see what happens to that camp. They're gonna get zombies in their attic. And there's the inn and part of a building, and then the rest of a city around it. That's interesting. Shit. I don't have any light. Oh, I'm gonna be blind all night. Oh, I guess I'll have the light of the furnace. Okay. Go up a bunch. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Oh, is it? A... Oh, good. It's a full moon, which means we do have this little bit of light to see by. I don't know how much is visible on stream. It's probably just pure black, but... Okay. I'm going to... Burn that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, gosh. I need to... I need to... Can't build out. Shit. Okay. Oh boy. I can hear all those sounds of footsteps. There's so many footsteps.
there. I don't know if... Oh, and it's dark again. I don't know if I'm going to survive this night. If I have the stars tonight. Ooh. Ouch. Take that. Okay, that's garbage, garbage, garbage. I need that. That's just a block. That's garbage. I need that. Okay. Soon it will be dark. <laughs> then we'll read. Okay. There it is. I wait daylight and hopefully the zombies don't see me and try to kill me. Because I don't think they might. They might tonight. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't even see my character really. In the backdrop. Oh. A little bit of moonlight. It's great. I'm gonna take a shot that way and a shot that way. All right. Let's switch to uh. Let's switch to the book. Pass the time to daylight. So we were, page twenty-eight in the book of blood. Kaufman was um. He had fallen asleep in the train car along with the butcher. Oh, the butcher hadn't fallen asleep, but while the butcher was doing his business, Kaufman was asleep. And then uh, the next time the butcher went to look, Kaufman had hid. And then uh, and then basically once Kaufman figured it out, he was started going to the next train car. Then he screamed. Uh, the scream, I'll just start at the top of the page. The, sc the scream had cleared Kaufman's head and he suddenly felt released into a kind of strength. There would be no pursuit down the train. He knew that. Oh, the zombies are breaking down a door. That's great. That's great. Uh, there would be no cowardice. Not now. This was going to be a primitive confrontation. Two human beings face to face and there would be no trick. None that he couldn't contemplate using to bring his enemy down. This was a matter of survival, pure and simple. The door handle rattled. Kaufman looked around for a weapon, his eyes steady and calculating. His gaze fell on the pile of clothes beside the Puerto Rican's body. There was a knife lying there. Ly Sorry, there was a knife there lying amongst the rhinestone rings and imitation gold chains. A long-bladed, immaculately clean weapon probably the man's pride and joy. Reaching past the well-muscled body, Kaufman plucked the knife from the heap. It felt good in his hand. It felt, in fact, it felt positively thrilling. The door was opening, and the face of the slaughterer came into the view. Kaufman looked down the abattoir of ma at Mahogany. He was not terribly fearsome, just another balding, overweight man of fifty. His face was heavy and his eyes deep-set. His mouth was rather small and delicately lipped. In fact, he had a woman's mouth. What? Mahogany could not understand where this intruder had appeared from, but he was aware it was another oversight, another sign of increasing incompetence. He must dispatch this ragged creature immediately. After all, they could not be more than a mile or two from the end of the line. He must cut the little man down and have him hanging up by his heels before they reach their destination. He moved into car two. You were asleep, he said, recognizing Kaufman. I saw you. Kaufman said nothing. You should have left the train. What were you trying to do, hide from me? Kaufman still kept his silence. Mahogany grasped the handle of the cleaver hanging from his well-used leather belt. It was dirty with blood, 
as was his chainmail, apron, his hammer, and his saw. As it is, I'll have to do away with you. Kaufman raised the knife. It looked a little, a little small beside the butcher's uh, paraphernalia. Fuck it, he said. Moggy grinned at the little man's pretensions to defense. You shouldn't have seen this. It's not for the likes of you, he said, taking another step towards Kaufman. It's secret. Uh. Oh, so he's the divinely inspired type, is he? Thought Kaufman. That explains something. Fuck it, he said again. The butcher frowned. He didn't like the little man's indifference to his work, to his reputation. We all have to die sometime. You should be well pleased. You're not going to be burnt up like most of them. I can use you to feed the fathers. Kaufman's only response was a grin. He was past being terrorized by this gross shambling hulk. Butcher unhooked the cleaver from his belt and brandished it. A dirty little Jew like you, he said, should be thankful to be useful at all. Meets the best you can aspire to. What does that even mean? Like, it sounds racist, but I don't know why. Uh, I guess the dirty part, but why would he eat only? I don't know. Without warning, the butcher swung. The cleaver divided the air at some speed, but Kaufman stepped back. The cleaver sliced his coat arm and buried itself in the Puerto Rican's shank. The impact half severed the leg and the weight of the body opened the gash even further. Oh, and it's daylight. Shit. Okay, we're going to have to stop there. Halfway down 29. Okay, let's get back to it. See if I can survive my dismount. Oh, Dem's a lot of zombies. They're all gonna. They're all gonna be alerted. Well. Then. Oh, there's lava nearby, too. A kingdom for a bucket. Here they come. Oh, I see a zombie horse. Oh, those horses would be a great source of leather. I only need a couple more. If I kill all of them, I could actually make some armor. Okay. Hey, not dead. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. you from here? No. Let's go one down. Doesn't look like there's a builder amongst you. Hey! Step right up. Come on, come for this flesh. Come try to eat me. Yes. Uh, 
There we go. Come on. Come on, you can make it up here. The pig can make it up here, why can't you? Come on. Oh, almost there. Come on, a little bit more. Okay. That was it, eh? Cool. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Okay. Grab the stuff. Ooh, and all my wood. Nice. anything? No? Cool. Did I get anything good? Four extra hearts for six and a half minutes? Well, shit, yeah. Keep that handy. Okay. Oh. Horses. Leather. Let's go. I'm sorry. You know what? I'll go for those cows. I'm going for those cows. That didn't feel good. That never feels good. I don't know why the cows feel any better. They don't, but... Oh, one of them's a zombie. There we go. Come on. No leather? Really? Okay. Let's see how this house did. Oh my god! It did not do well. Um... Who placed that? Oh, oh, I'll take that. Thanks. Oh my god. Okay, this is not a good place to be around. Oh, they took your door. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm taking your apples. You don't need them now. You probably got shit in the attic. You know what? I'm going to dump my garbage in here. Don't need any of that. Fuck. The sound of that right now? Oh man. Oh jeez, it's taking up the... Alright. We're keeping those. Get some easy wood. Before it all burns away. Oh yeah, there's this thing here too. What is this? Oh, just a sheep. Okay. This is cool. I don't know what this is. I don't know if the lava is included in the feature, but... Oh, that would explain why it all burned down. Alright, I'm getting out of here. This does not feel good. Oh, you have some hay? Yeah, it's not worth it. Burning daylight. You, okay, you're not a zombie. Kill you anyway, I'm sorry. I need you. Do I have, I have enough wool for, or I have enough, uh, I have uh, leather, string. I need a chest. Okay, let's make it now, because I'm going to need it if I'm going to go explore anything. Hang on to those. And then... Can I just have... Can I just have it? Thank you. There it is. Cool. So, I don't think I need that. I'll put that away. That can be for later. There, I got an immediate source of food. 
Oh, I got the steak actually, so get to that first. That's cool. I have a light source for the nights until I can find something better there. There we go, I got my stuff on my hop bar. Okay. It feels pretty good. Oh. Another house over there too. Alright. Oh shit. Actual zombie. Alright, let's go by. Just one of you? Yeah. Uh, who's going to die from zombies? Not this person. Oh god, they're breaking down doors again. That's terrible. We got music still going. Good. Everything seems to be running fairly well, too. I think it helps that I'm running music in uh, Music Player now. Aww. You took out the guy who worked here, eh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Uh-uh. 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 Fuck. Oh, I can't seem to use that. Okay. Fucking. Oh. Okay, why is this not working? Why can't I use it? Garbage. That's what that is. Oh shit! Damn it! No, it's gonna be dark already! Just punching him! Come on! die by my hand before come on before darkness falls I'll use the pick if I have to <laughs> fuck nope small small city too oh yeah and there's that building oh it's a beehive place cool 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 beekeeper okay if I, if I build this they and they don't see me constantly they will they will give up Same amount of wood that I have. Cool. Hey. Mostly safe up here. Mostly. This out. Cook some meat. I guess I can toss the uh the stuff from this pack just doesn't seem to work. I'm glad I ins installed the secondary gun mod thing. But yeah, none of the apocalypse stuff seems to work for that mod. 
Here I am badmouthing it, even though I have to credit it in my YouTube, uh, in my YouTube description. Okay, what am I doing? I am, I gotta cook stuff. Cup of steak. Is that gonna, is that not gonna be enough for multiple? Okay. That's fine. Once those are done, I'll make some charcoal, I guess. Yeah. Don't care about that stuff. Yay, steak. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh man, they're getting loud. Where? Oh shit. <laughs> cool. Fair. Uh, I need more tools. God damn. You know what? I don't need torches for anything. Let's just stop that. Right. That's enough for a campfire. Sweet. I'll use that to cook some random meats for free next time. That'll be easier. And then... Alright. Wood tools again? Listen to them. They just don't stop. Maybe I'll go more than one of the, uh, of the axe variety. Because I feel it doesn't get me very far. Um, I'm also going to make a hoe. And... And a shovel. That way I can e just easily get through certain blocks fast. Cool. Let's convert the rest into building. that. Okay. <laughs> now there's a good luck. Oh yeah, do we got any assholes down below? Can't even see them. Oh, 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 but I can hear them and they can see me if I go there. Okay. There we go. Screenshot purposes. Alright. The way out. Okay. So. Where were we? It was getting real juicy. Do do do. Right. Okay, I see which paragraph we were at. So the cleaver sliced his coat arm and buried itself in the Puerto Rican's shank. The impact half-severed the leg and the weight of the body opened the gash even further. The exposed meat of the thigh was like prime steak, succulent and appetizing. The butcher started to drag the cleaver out of the wound, and in that moment Kaufman sprang. The knife sp towards Mahogany's eyes, but an air of judgment buried it instead in his neck. It transfixed the column and appeared in a little gout of gore on the other side, straight through. In one stroke, straight through. Mahogany felt the blade in his neck as a choking sensation. 
almost as though he had been uh, had caught a chicken bone in his throat. He made a ridiculous half-hearted coughing sound. Blood issued from his lips, painting them like lipstick of a woman's mouth. What are you trying to say, Clive Barker? Cleaver clattered to the floor. There was a lot of references to Mahogany's mouth being woman-like. And then now we're painting them with lips, like lipstick on a woman's mouth. On, on his woman's mouth. Jesus. Uh, Kaufman pulled out the knife. The two wounds spouted little arcs of blood. Mahogany collapsed to his knees, staring at the knife and that had killed him. The little man was watching him quite passively. He was saying something, but Mahogany's ears were deaf to the remarks as though he was underwater. Mahogany suddenly went blind. He knew with a nostalgia for his... Uh, he knew with a nostalgia for his senses that he would not see nor hear again. This was death. It was on him for certain. His hands still felt the weave of his trousers. However, and the hot splashes on his skin, his life seemed to totter on its tiptoes. <clears throat> While his fingers grasped at one last sense, then his body collapsed, and his hands, and his life, and his sacred duty folded up under the weight of gray flesh. Cool. The butcher was dead. Yay. Kaufman dragged gulps of stale air into his lungs and grabbed one of the straps to steady his reeling body. Tears blotted out the shambles he stood in. A time passed. He didn't know how long. He was lost in a dream of victory. Then the train began to slow. He felt and heard the brakes being applied. The hanging bodies lurched towards as the careering train slowed. Its wheels squealing on rails that were sw sweating slime. Curiosity overtook Kaufman. Oh, it looks like it's daylight. Yeah, 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 it's daylight. Okay, we gotta stop there. It's not much daylight, which means that it's gonna be a hot mess down there. Uh, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. They didn't try pillaring up to me. They didn't see me enough. Which is, you know, Great news for me. Now they'll see me. Whoever's left in the area, let's go. Your dinner has made an appearance. Hold that control for the, your life. In fact, let's not... Let's stand firmly on the platform. I have died from just trying to dismount before. Like this. Might as well take the time to do this. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Don't care. Let's go. I have wooden axes that do eh, seven damage. Holy shit, that's way more than any of those. How are we doing? Oh, I can go further. No builders. Just a bunch of nurses, eh? Yeah, that's close enough. We're gonna go one more down. 
Look how close you are. Could almost get me. Come on. Focus on the nurses. Okay, that's just thunder. Okay, more are coming. You don't need to join in on this. Wait, why are you converting? What is going on here? Even doing damage? This sucks. Yeah, I need some better weapons. <clears throat> and by better weapons, I just mean more axes. There we go. Still, no builders. Oh, I do not like this. How am I supposed to kill you all? Yes. Okay. If a builder shows up, I have to pillar up for my life. Oh, wow, this is getting loud. Getting real loud. Next X. Let's just see how many I can kill. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. 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 Uh, and up we go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> no, we're just gonna stand right there. being alerted to me. That should work a little. It'll keep the ones at the base from just re re-alerting themselves. I'm just getting more kind of wandering. This thing is they can wander away and then randomly turn around and then see me and then just wander straight back. I could. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, so some of them are fucking off. I am so small. I am so small. Don't look at me. I'm hiding behind a block of wool on top of a pillar. Hmm. That's great. That's great. Okay. Okay. What am I going to do? 
Okay. What if I have five? How are we doing down there? Okay. Somewhat dispersed. Somewhat. Look at this area. They're just everywhere. Okay. I've disabled the ability to sleep. Which means I can't sleep through a thunderstorm. I may be trapped up here for a little while. I don't have enough resources to, to move off. Like not even to not even to block out over to the to the water there and then like drop down on a boat. I could try to just drop boat drop down from this just and then just jump out of it and then run. I don't know to what end. There's a lot of drown down there, so I can't just like jump in and try to splash across. And it'll turn all of those guys into drown. Oh shit. Oh shit. We got the lightning starting fires here now. Okay, good. At least the rain puts it out quickly. Um, alright, well... Instead of just guffawing at the situation, I'm going to stand there and keep reading. I think we're almost near the end of the story. Oh, look, it's going to be nighttime again. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I can make some leads. Whatever good that I'll do. Yeah. Just zombies. Everywhere. Okay. Might as well read until it's daylight again. Oops. I mean to do that. Uh, do it like that. Why do you keep seeing me? Stop stop perceiving me. No, got to ignore you. Where the hell were we? Oh yeah, we're at the top of 30 here. But yeah, the victory. Then the train began to slow. He felt and heard the brakes being applied. The hanging bodies lurched forward as the careering train slowed, its wheels squealing on rails that were sweating slime. Curiosity overtook Kaufman. With the train shut into the butcher's underground slaughterhouse, decorated with the meats he had gathered through his career, and the laughing driver so indifferent to the massacre, what would he do once the train had stopped? Whatever happened now was academic. He could face anything at all, watch and see. The tannoy crackled, the voice of the driver. We're here, man. Better take your place, eh? Take your place? What did that mean? The train had slowed to a snail's pace. Outside the windows, everything was as dark as ever. The lights flickered, then went out. This time, they didn't come back on. 
Goffman was left in total darkness. We'll be out in half an hour, the Tanoi announced, like, so, <laughs> so like any station report. The train had come to a stop, the sound of its wheels on the tracks, the rush of, it, of its passage, which Kaufman had grown to, uh, so used to, were suddenly absent. All he could hear was the hum of the tannoy. He could still see nothing at all. Then a hiss. The doors were opening. A smell entered the, ca the car, a smell so caustic that Kaufman clapped his hand over his face to shut it out. He stood in silence, hand to mouth, for what seemed a lifetime. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Then, there was a flicker of light outside the window. It threw the door frame into silhouette, and it grew stronger by degrees. Soon there was sufficient light in the car for Kaufman to see the crumpled body of the butcher at his feet, and the sallow sides of meat hanging on every side of him. There was a whisper, too, from the dark outside the train, a gathering of tiny noises like the voices of beetles. In the tunnel, shuffling towards the train, were human beings. Kaufman could see their outlines now. Some of them carried torches, which burned with a dead brown light. The noise was perhaps their feet on the damp earth, or perhaps their tongues clicking, or both. Kaufman wasn't as naive as he had been an hour before. Could there be any doubt as to the intention these things had coming out of the blackness towards the train? The butcher had slaughtered the men and women as meat for these cannibals. They were coming, like diners at the di dinner gong, to eat in the restaurant car. That's the sound of them. All these zombie sounds. Kaufman bent down and picked up the cleaver the butcher had dropped. The noise of the creature's approach was louder every moment. He backed, down the he backed down the car away from the open doors, only to find that the doors behind him were also open, and there was the whisper of the approach there, too. He shrank back against one of the seats and was about to take refuge under them when a hand, thin and frail to the point of transparency, appeared around the door. He could not look away. Not that terror froze him in as it had at the window. He simply wanted to watch. The creature stepped into the car. The torches behind it threw its face into shadow, but its outline could be clearly seen. There was nothing very... Oh, fuck, finally. There was nothing very remarkable about it. It had two arms and two legs, as he did. Its head was not abnormally shaped. The body was small, and the effort of climbing into the train made its breath coarse. It seemed more geriatric than psychotic. Generations of fictional man-eaters had not prepared him for its distressing vulnerability. Behind it, similar creatures were appearing out of the darkness, shuffling into the train. In fact, they were coming in at every door. Kaufman was trapped. He weighed the cleaver in his hands, getting the balance of it, ready for the battle with these antique monsters. A torch had been brought into the car, and it illuminated the faces of the leaders. They were completely bald, their tired flesh of their faces was pulled tight over their skulls so that it shone with tension. There were strains of decay and disease on their skin, and in the places and in places the muscle had withered into a black pus through which the bone of the cheek or temple was showing. Some of them were naked as babies, their pulpy syphilitic bodies scarcely sexed. What had been breasts were leathery bags hanging off the torso, the genitalia shrunken away. Worse sights than the naked amongst them were those who wore the veil of clothes. It soon dawned on Kaufman that the rotting fabric slung around their shoulders or knotted about their midriffs was made of human skins. Not one, but a dozen or more heaped haphazardly on top of each other like pathetic trophies. 
The leaders of this grotesque meal line had reached the bodies now, and the graceful hands were laid upon the shanks of meat and were running up and down the shaved flesh in a manner that suggested sensual pleasure. Tongues were dancing out of mouths, flecks of spittle landing on the meat. The eyes of the monsters were flickering back and forth with hunger and excitement. Eventually, one of them saw Kaufman. Its eyes stopped flickering for a moment and fixed on him. A look of inquiry came over the face, making a parody of a puzzlement. You, it said. The voice was wasted, was as wasted as the lips it came from. Kaufman raised the cleaver a little, calculating his chances. There were perhaps thirty of them in the car, many more outside, but they looked so weak and they had no weapons but their skin and bones. Hmm, excuse me. The monster spoke again, its voice quite well mo quite well modulated when it found itself, the piping of a once cultured, once charming man. You came after the other, yes? It glanced down at the body of Mahogany. It had clearly taken in the situation very quickly. Old, anyway, it said. It said its watery eyes back at Kaufman, studying him with care. Fuck you, said Kaufman. The creature attempted a wry smile, but it had almost forgotten the technique, and the result was a grimace which exposed a mouthful of teeth that had been systematically filed into points. You must now do this for us, it said through the bestial grin. We cannot survive without food. Oh, we'll stop right there. That's really cool. I forgot there was a whole last conversation. Okay. What we got? Hey, some of them are despawned. That's amazing. Maybe we'll get through this. I know all the stuff down there is probably despawned. Oh. I have three axes. Doesn't feel like enough axes. Here we go. You know, let's save the axe. I know it burns daylight, but I might as well save the axe for killing. Oh boy. Just stacking up now. Alright. Alright, boys. Settle down. You know, I oh fuck. I really do like this area, but I am I am gonna have to huff it. It's gonna be grab as much of this wood as I can. Run jumping about and just fucking go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> wow. Look at them go. Oh, they're trying to. Oh, boys, no, you gotta go in the water. You gotta go in the water to get me. Yep. Yep, go in the water. <laughs> Oh shit. Well, this water doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. All 
All right, does that mean I've cleared them? That one still wants to get at me. Let's... I don't know. Is any of this good? I guess it's blocks. I'll take blocks. Oh my gosh. Holy fuck. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh god. Okay. This way. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, what's that? The sound? That's the sound of the breaking down a door. What door could that be? Oh, the door that I, of the place of that I'm just casually in is. Don't you dare set on me yet. Don't you dare. <laughs> I don't really have a whole lot. Okay, I think I've lost them. Oh, oh, coal would be nice. Yeah, I don't think I'm running for my life at the moment. Let's go for it. Okay, and we're good. Let me go. Stable? Not bad. We're getting a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> A lot of structure generation. I like to see that. Taking all your hay because it's food and a building block. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Kaylee. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Zombies are gonna come. Have, oh, oh, there's stuff. Fuck. Uh, why don't I have blocks on my hotbar? There. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? What's happening, bro? Whoa, what was that? What is happening? Why is my... Why is the world going weird? Okay. Why does... Oh, shit. Why does looking down do that right now? That is so weird. That is so weird. Just another weird little glitch. Fucking stop! dropping your bucket. Okay, I don't need it till later, so I'm just gonna put it in my offhand. It's... Look at that. Look at that. Near wood, thank you. Oh, I am not getting trapped in here overnight. Fuck. I just want the wood. Oh, jeez. All right, I already got it. Okay. I'm leaving this place in the dust. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's the sun. The sun's over there. Okay, okay. Uh, 
Uh, is that a pillager thing? died in those towers before not gonna not gonna put myself in there oh but hello village what okay chickens oh, chicken okay to the village for night falls see how many I can save ah get the fuck up there, bitch. Go. Nobody in there. Where is everybody? Nope. It's not even... doesn't even have a bed. Where are the people? Okay. Oh, shit. That is so bad. Uh-uh. No. Oh, jeez. This is... This place is going to be death. I uh, don't know if I could save you guys. I'm just going to... Just going to go for this, uh... This here. I'm going to need it. If you go in your houses, I will barricade you. You have a smith or anything? Don't like it. Fuck, no, no, this is nothing but nothing. Nothing but death. Yeah, it's all it's all doom, guys. Oh, carrots. Nice. Come on. Come on, come on. I would love... I would love some stone tools before I... Before I go. Okay. 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 Here we go. Find the tallest spot. Fuck. And up we go. Okay. Come the sound effects. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, computer, figure shit out. Can I see those blocks now, please? Just 
Can we keep going? Okay. Well, I'm going to pretend like they can't see me. You know, I can clearly see through this block. Okay, let's sort some shit out here. First of all, I got some junk. Don't need it if it's a single block. There we go. Come on, why won't you render? Is it control sh uh no F three T? See if that'll do it. I command you, Mojang. Reload my textures, please. Hey, that did it. Amaze. Okay, uh anything I need to cook? No. Ooh. Sure. Um, let's store some of this for now. Don't know what to do with that? Strength, and fire resistance. That may come in handy. Strength may come in handy sooner, actually. Oh yes. Right. Let's make those tools first. You know, just for fun. That crap away. Yeah. Gotta ignore it. Gotta ignore it. Oops. That's extra. I should have built two axes to come to think of it. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's load some bread up. There we go. Well suited or well situated <laughs> in my hay fort. I don't see too many zombies around. That's a good sign. They could all be uh, spawning over in the depths there, not anywhere near the people. But I'm sure some of them have died at this point. Some breaking down some doors. That's great. That's just great. Let's just um It's terrifying every time. Okay. Where are we here? At the top. You old anyway. Fuck you. Oh yes, we cannot survive. We can. We cannot survive without food. The hand patted the rump of human flesh. Hoffman had no reply to the idea. He just stared in disgust as the fingernails slid between the clefts in the buttock, feeling the swell of tender muscle. It disgusts us no less than you, said the creature. But we're bound to eat this meat or we die. God knows I have no appetite for it. The thing was drooling, nevertheless. Coffin found his voice. It was small, more with a confusion of feelings than with fear. What are you? 
Remember the bearded man in the deli. Are you accidents of some kind? We are the city fathers and mothers and daughters and sons. The builders, the lawmakers. We made the city. New York? Said Kaufman. The Palace of Delights? <laughs> before you were born, before anyone living was born. As it spoke, the creature's fingernails were running up under the skin of the split body and were peeling the thin elastic layer off the luscious brawn. Behind Kaufman, the other creatures had begun to unhook the bodies from the straps, their hands laid in the same delighting manner on the smooth breasts and flanks of flesh. These two had been... These two had begun skinning the meat. You'll bring us more, said the father. More meat for us. The other one was weak. Kaufman stared in disbelief. Me? Feed you? What do you think I am? You must do it for us, and for those older than us. For those born before the city was thought of when America was a timberland and desert. The fi fragile hand gestured out of the train. Kaufman's gaze followed the pointing finger into the gloom. There was something else outside the train which he'd failed to see before. Much bigger than anything human. The pack of creatures parted to let Kaufman through so that he could inspect more closely whatever it was that stood outside, but his feet would not move. Go on, said the father. Kaufman thought of the city he'd loved. Were these really its ancients, its philosophers, its creators? He had to believe it. Perhaps there were people on the surface, bureaucrats, politicians, authorities of every kind who knew this horrible secret and whose lives were dedicated to preserving these abominations, feeding them as savages feed lambs to their gods. There was a horrible familiarity about this ritual. It rang a bell, not in Kaufman's consciousness, conscious mind, but in his deeper, older self. His feet no longer obeying his mind, but his instinct to worship moved. He walked through the corridor of bodies and stepped out of the train. Okay, we're going to stop there because it's day five. Oh, it's getting good. It's almost, oh, must be almost done. It feels like. Yeah, we did. Doesn't look too bad out there. Or down there. I don't think there's going to be many zombies. I don't know if there's any people left. kill me. Okay. We clear? Seems like we're clear. Pick up all your stuff. Okay. I don't know what else to do in this village. Oh, hey, there are people. Cool. Good for you. You survived. Um... Ah, it's a chicken. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave this village. They didn't have anything good. Just collected a bunch of hay. Yeah. 
I could use some armor. Oh, damn it. Steer clear of the buffalo, jeez. I don't see anything else coming at me. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Oh yeah, doing good. Nope, fuck the seagulls. Nope, 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 fuck the seagulls. Hmm. Not sure what I'm looking for. I need iron, that's for sure. I need to upgrade. Easy iron here. No. That's the other thing. Is it's, it's got to be easy iron, so it's almost easier to scavenge than to dig or mine for it. Oh, yeah. Give me a minor infection, will ya? Wait, what is that? A shrine? I don't have anything yet for the shrine. Always use some stone. So in order to get the, the things that that shrine needs... Oh, that reminds me that... I think it's leather and sticks and string to make uh, a hand glider. But that's what that's associated with. Oh, I'm gonna have to get in the water. Let's go. Let's go! As long as we don't see any... Ooh, what do we got? Uh, that's not going to be a lot. Not even worth looking in the boat. Okay, now these rocks. These cliff face here. These cliff face. Sorry, this cliff face. Come on, iron. No iron. Okay, no iron and no buildings. We just got endless forest here. Hmm? Hmm? What's going on? Okay. Coal and copper. Oh! Hey! Hello. Ding, 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 ding. Hell yeah. Couple of these. Okay. Uh, 
Not sure what biomes these are. Oh, what am I hearing? Oh, there must be tunnels somewhere nearby. Or somewhere underground. Maybe there's just caves. Attenuating. Okay. In a city. It's a bigger city. Oh, I don't like this cave. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, we have just reached the end of the line. Okay, um, it's getting dark, so... Uh, I need waste blocks as well. There we go. Anything I can grab? Anything I can grab from the outside? This is nuts. I shouldn't actually be here. Oh boy. And getting... I can't climb that. I could block up, but it's actually almost not worth it. Oh, this is better though. As long as this actually connects up outside. Or out into the... Into broader waters. It looks like it does. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's just try to get out of this section. Get away from the city. Yeah, there's the tunnel. Oh, come on. Illager keep. Really? <laughs> I can't catch a break here. This sucks. Okay. Three. Let's. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Oh, what's that? This building is uh, my new home for the night. Okay, somebody's home. Okay. Ooh. Got a little bit of lag here. Oh, we got a wee campfire up there. Well, that's fun. I need to get above all that, so let's do this. Uh huh. Yeah, I've learned my lesson. You don't sleep in buildings. I might be able to pull off some sick hand gliding <laughs> to uh, to get over there. Let's go up some more. Oh. Let's just pop, pop right. Okay. I think that's pretty high up. Come on. Reload your ship. Do I have to hit reload? Okay, reload. OBS plugin for my macro deck. Still not showing me elapsed time or drop frames or anything. A little confusing. There. Well hidden. Okay. No. 
now we have a place for garbage. We keep bones. Maybe I can get a, uh, some dogs to follow me. That would be great. I think he used bones to get him. Which I should have been, I guess, saving this whole time. Like it's too messy to use my campfire here. Oops. Okay. Sure. Uh, don't I have meat? There we go. Start with that. One piece of iron. I don't even make anything with that. Okay. Switch that out so it actually goes through. Uh, before we re read the thrilling conclusion, we gotta build ourselves a bed. Weird behavior from my system. Huh. Sorry, one second here. Task manager, what's going on? Task manager. Yeah, that all looks good. Everything looks great. Just the GPU freaking out. Pen glider. There it is. Paraglider. Sweet. Anything else that can help me? Just looking at these. Mm. Can't make arrows right now. I'll make another stone axe. That's Doing well there for food. Okay, so pack my supplies up. I guess I should cook this iron after too. Like that. I'll keep the bone out. Uh, I did see wolves out there. Don't need that. Any of those random things taking up slots? Come on, finish. Thank you. Oops. Cool, I'll do. Yeah, I do. Don't need that wool. Building blocks. So I don't have enough metal for a hoe. Okay. Cool. Oh, by the way, everything else looks messy, but fine. And I have a paraglider, so 
Oh, I would be giving up all of these things. Hmm. Really going to depend on what it looks like over there. Ooh. Super dark. Stupid dark. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> We're over here. Page 33. Oh, that's right. He was looking outside the train. Uh, and he stepped out of the train. The light of the torches scarcely began to illuminate a limitless, limitless darkness outside. The air seemed solid. It was so thick with the smell of ancient earth. But Kaufman smelt nothing. His head bowed. It was all he could do to prevent himself from fainting again. He was there. Precursor of man. The original American, whose homeland this was before Passamaquoddy or Cayenne. Its eyes, if it had eyes, were on him. His body shook. His teeth shattered. Sorry, something happened to the rendering there? What happened there? Oh, we got some strange glitch. Oh, and we're back. Very strange. Very, very strange. <clears throat> oh, let's see if I'm actually temperature throttled or something. No, not at 77 degrees. Video encoding's doing next to nothing. 3D is just maxed out. Alright, whatever. Oh, well, it's daylight. Alright, can't w read that after all. That is just what happens sometimes. Something real quick. Okay, D and D is back on. Nice. Um Oh shit. Oh, there that goes. That may or may not have anything in it. Yeah, I'm not going to paraglide yet. Well, let's see how far I get. Okay, these are sounds coming from within the game. Oh, you know what? Here. Uh, I just, I don't want to lose all this hay. That's probably good. That's plenty. Okay. Yeah, kind of want to blow this popsicle stand anyway. Seems like a lot of height. Oh boy. 
I could die doing this. Here goes nothing. This is the one I want. This is the one I want. Turn it around. Turn around. Here. Ha! Huh. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Well then. Yes, please. Oh, this means I have enough for an iron axe. Hell yeah. Um... Okay. So then... I don't want to be in this place anymore. Is there any more treasure to be had? That's the question. Hi, yeah, you can see me, can't you? I don't see a chest there. In fact, I don't see another tap. Oh, I see a chest there. I'm not sure how I would get that without dying. So I could go straight up. Yeah, sure, hurt yourself. Uh, it's too bad I don't have a bucket. Okay. Let's use this. Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, twenty's plenty. Now, where am I going to go? Try to make it to that cliff face. I could just try to make it for the water. Let's make it for the water. Hmm. Oh, I'm not going forward. Go forward. Oh shit. Out of the water, out of the water, out of the water, out of the water. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Go. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. I am for wolves. Birch forest. Get to this right. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, hey. Just always, oof, oh, come on. Why is it being such a slideshow right now? Yeah, that might free up some frames. Shit, am I in a cul-de-sac?
Okay, go, 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 go. Uh -uh. Oh, that's a zombie nurse. I mean, gaining some height is preferable. Nope, nope, nope. Going this way, nope. Ooh. Okay, that was, that was, that was slick. That was slick. Am I back to where I started? Are you fucking shitting me? I am back to where I started. I am fully... Oh, that's my original hill and everything. I went in a circle because I don't have a compass. No, 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 stop. Stop using that. Just run. What are you doing? Run. Lie, you fool. How? How are there so many over here? Why would they keep generating? It looks like they've been generating. Uh, run, 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 run. Seems to kick in whenever I jump. I'm in the air for more than a second. That's actually kind of cool. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. Okay. So here's what we do. Here's what we do. Hmm. Right. We pick that spot over here. Yeah, no, put it right here. Oh, I have less to contend with at the base of all things. There we go. Yeah. Straight up. Oh, okay. What day is it? Oh, finishing day six. Well, I've done what I've planned so far, which was to survive this long. Oh, oh no. Look at him dancing. I'm freaking out down there. Um. Yeah, I think I can just safely make a little crow's nest here. Stop the aggro. Eat blue fun if I don't need as many as much wall because it's just this side that can see me. A little bit of that side, I guess. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is how we're doing. Um, don't need to cook that. Don't need to cook that yet, right? I only have the two. I have arrows. It'd be worth it to make a bow now. Yeah.
Um, do I remember how to make a bloody bow? Oh, the other way. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Straight string. I don't know why I was... My brain was backwards. All right. Okay. Pull that away. I haven't seen any puppies. Okay, I need to have this over here. This is just useful to have on my hotbar. What am I doing? Okay. Okay, I think we can just uh, spend the night like this. What the fuck's that sound? There better not be a million of them down there. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh yeah it was there the precursor of man the original American oh yeah 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 his body shook his teeth chattered he could own he could hear the noise of his anatomy ticking crackling sobbing it shifted a little in the dark the sound of its movement was awesome like a mountain sitting up Coffin's face was raised to it and without thinking about what he was doing or why he fell to his knees in the shit in front of the father of fathers every day of his life had been leading to this day every moment quickening to this incalculable moment of holy terror had there been sufficient light in that pit to see the hole, perhaps his tepid heart would have burst. As it was, he felt it flutter in his chest as he saw what he saw. It was a giant, without head or limb, without a feature that was analogous to a human, without an organ that made sense or senses. If it was, if it was like anything, it was like a shoal of fish, a thousand snouts, all moving in unison, budding, blossoming, and withering rhythmically. It was iridescent, like mother of pearl. <laughs> but it was sometimes deeper than any color Kaufman knew or could put a name to. That was all Kaufman could see, and it was more than he wanted to see. There was much more in the darkness, flickering and flapping. But he could not look. But he could look no longer. He turned away, and as he did so, a football was pitched out of the train and rolled to a halt in front of the father. Hmm. At least he thought it was a football until he peered more attentively at it and recognized it as a human head, the head of the butcher. The skin of the face had been peeled off in strips. It glistened with blood as it lay in front of its lord. Kaufman looked away and walked back to the train. Every part of his body seemed to be weeping but his eyes. That's a lot. That's a mess. Uh, <laughs> what was that? They were too hot with the sight behind him. They boiled his tears away. Inside, the creatures had already set about their supper. One he saw was plucking the blue sweet morsel of a woman's eye out of the socket. Another had a hand in its, in its mouth. A coffin's feet that lay the butcher's headless corpse, still bleeding profusely from where its neck had been bitten through. The little father who had spoken earlier stood in front of Kaufman. Service? It asked gently as you might ask a cow to follow you. Kaufman was staring at the cleaver. The butcher's symbol of office. The creatures were leaving the car now, dragging the half-eaten bodies after them. As the torches were taken out of the car, darkness was returning. But before the lights had completely disappeared, the father reached out and took hold of Kaufman's face, thrusting him in round to look at the, himself in the filthy glass of the car window. 
It was a thin reflection, but Kaufman could see quite well enough how changed he was. Whiter than any living man should be, covered in grime and blood. The father's hand still gripped Hoffman's face and its four fingers hooked into his mouth and down his gullet, the nail scoring the back of his throat. Hoffman gagged at the intruder but had no will left to repel the attack. Serve, said the creature, in silence. Too late, Kaufman realized the intention of the fingers. Suddenly his tongue was seized tight and twisted on the root. Kaufman, in shock, dropped the cleaver. He tried to scream, but no sound came. Blood went in his throat. He heard his flesh tearing and agonies convulsed him. Then the hand was out of his mouth and scarlet spittle covered fingers where in were in front of his face with his tongue held between thumb and forefinger. Kaufman was speechless. Serve, said the father, and stuffed the tongue into his own mouth, chewing on it with evident satisfaction. Kaufman fell to his knees, spewing up his sandwich. The father was already shuffling away into the dark. The rest of the ancients had disappeared into their warren for another night. The tenoy crackled. Home, said the driver. The doors hissed closed, and the sound of power surged through the train. The lights flicked on and off again. Then on, the, drain, the train began to move. Kaufman lay on the floor, te tears pouring down his face, tears of dis discomfiture and of resignation. He would bleed to death, he decided, where he lay. It wouldn't matter if he died. It was a foul world anyway. The driver woke him. He opened his eyes. The face that was looking down at him was black. And not unfriendly. It grinned. Kaufman tried to say something, but his mouth was sealed up with dried blood. He jerked his head round like a... driveler trying to spit out a word. Nothing came out but grunts. He wasn't dead. He hadn't bled to death. The driver pulled him to his knees, talking to him as though he were a three-year-old. You got to do... Uh, you got a job to do, my man. They're very pleased with you. The driver had licked his fingers and was rubbing Kaufman's swollen lips, trying to part them. Lots to learn before tomorrow night. Okay. Obviously, I gotta borrow it again. Borrow again. Page 36. Day 7. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're right at the end, too. Okay, we'll get back to that. See if I can get away from the starting point. I don't even know if the hoe was much faster. Yeah, come bring it. Okay, do we have music? Okay, we do have music. <laughs> Strange to think we've only been going for two hours. Hey, what time is it? For some reason it feels later. Oh, there was a builder. Much I can reclaim. I guess I'm going to have to go sail the ocean now. <laughs> Try to get away from this. I'm going to assume that's the east. It means that's the north. I'm going to try to go north. Oh, 
Oh, they seem hungry. Also, I can't use this if I don't have arrows. Did you not figure out how to pillar up to me, boys? <laughs> well, sorry for you. Are you going to go up, eh? <laughs> See what this brings. Hopefully, not death by any whales or orcas. I'm going the right way, right? Where'd the sun go? Is it b above me now? Oh shit. I just turned myself around. That little nodule of a cloud looks familiar. I'm just going to go for that nodule. Hopefully it's not moving too much. Oh boy. Oh, I see a group of drowned. Hello, buddy. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a little ruin. Yeah, let's just, let's just, let's just ignore it. If we can find anything else. No. Wow, this ocean biome is huge. I believe I'm still going. Okay, that's regular speed. There's fast. Small fishing boat. Okay. Doesn't really mean much. I don't know if they spawn just in water. Or just in the ocean. Or just near land. It'd be nice if it was near land. Land ho. Immediately there's a city. Yeah. When I thought I got away. Interesting. Oh, pirate ship. This will be good. It'll be a bit dangerous though, too. I can get in around here. Torches. That's all fucking death to me.
Oh, I see. Oh, damn. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I tried. I tried. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'll, I'll end up killing myself trying to get in there. I, s I need somewhere to post up, though. There's a lot between the boat and all that. There's a lot here, but I'm going to need torches to despawn the area. Which I think works. Easy blocks. In the rain, digging sand, hearing the zombies gather up. Zombies, though, they're doing okay. Come on. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. I got plenty. Okay. Stay near the water. What was that? You? There's multiple zombies that way. Okay, whatever. I guess I gotta stay over here. Do I need wood? No, not really. Oh shit! 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 Hubris! 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 Ah! Uh uh. Whoa! 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 Uh uh. Let's just go the full stack. Oh, that's the boat. I don't even know if they can actually see me up here, but... At least have a platform. Um, okay, torches. That's something I said I needed. Could also make some boots. There we 
we go. Okay. That's some torches. That's not bad. Yeah, I can get a little bit more. That pirate ship's gonna be well worth it if I can. I can actually do this. Hmm. Where strength is gonna come in handy. Yeah, none of this stuff is going to help me. It's just like giving it a good hard look. Um, keep the bow out. Okay. I was looking there, I'm like, okay, I do have at least another axe, but something. I think my goal is going to be to glide over there, land somewhere, if I can, and then kill as much as I can and start putting down light. Okay, we gotta finish that book. Let's finish that book. Hmm. Lots to learn, lots to learn. He led Kaufman out of the train. They were in no station he had ever seen before. It was white tiled and absolutely pristine. The station keeper's nirvana. No graffiti disfigured the walls. There was no tooth booth, token booths. But then there were no gates and no passengers either. This was a line that provided only one service, the meat train. A morning shift of cleaners were already busy hosing the blood off the seats and the floor of the train. Somebody was stripping the butcher's body in preparation for dispatch to New Jersey. All around Kaufman people were at work. A rain of dawn light was pouring through a grating in the roof of the station. Mots of dust hung in the beams, turning over and over. Remotes. Uh, Kaufman watched them, entranced. He hadn't seen such a beautiful thing since he was a child. Lovely dust, over and over, and over and over. The driver had managed to separate Kaufman's lips. His mouth was too wounded for him to move it, but at least he could breathe easily, and the pain was already beginning to subside. The driver smiled at him, then turned to the rest of the workers in the station. I'd like to introduce Mahogany's replacement, our new butcher, he announced. The workers looked at Kaufman. There was a certain defer deference in their faces, which he found appealing. Kaufman looked uh, up at the sunlight, now falling all, all around him. He jerked his head, signifying he wanted to go up into the open air. The driver nodded and led him up a st steep flight of steps and through an alleyway and so out onto the sidewalk. It was a beautiful day. The bright sky over New York was streaked with filaments of pale pink cloud and the air smelt of morning. The streets and avenues were practically empty at a distance. An occasional cab crossed an intersection, its engine a whisper. The runner sweated past on the other side of the street. Very soon, this, these same deserted sidewalks would be thronged with people. The city would go about its business in ignorance, never knowing what it was built upon or what it owed its life to. 
Without hesitation, Kaufman fell to his knees, kissed the dirty concrete with his bloody lips, silently swearing his eternal loyalty to its continuance. The Palace of Delights received the adoration without comment. That was Midnight Meat Train. That was fun. Um, before we begin the yattering and jack, let's take a quick look here. Okay, I'm going to leave that running a moment, but I'm going to be right back. So be right back. I'll be right back.
Oh, how Halloween-y this music is. Boom. And we're back. And it's been raining, and it's been day eight for a little bit. I think I'm still going to go over there. I think that's still the plan. If this will work. If I fall... If I fall, I have a boat handy. Okay. There goes nothing. This ain't gonna end well. Okay, good. Get that one little extra there. Oh, oh is there gonna be a ladder up this mass? No. Will they appear in that? Oh no, that's not gonna do. That won't do at all. Come on, let's go, let's go. Down, 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 down. This, this is immediately a bad idea. yourselves. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh, there's too many. <laughs> there's too many. Come on, come on, bring it. Is there a way up here? No? Okay. Man, I wish I could light them on fire. Okay. Okay. This ship is too noisy and too dangerous. What I need is what's in the captain's fucking quarters. That is primarily what I need. Yeah, come back out here, motherfuckers. Out here, out here, out here.
I wouldn't survive that. Isn't there a bed? There's a bed like here, isn't there? Is that a fake bed? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, okay. I want that treasure, motherfuckers. I want that treasure. can't see me. Why are you upset? I'm gonna have to sleep here. Fuck. shouldn't know where I am, technically. Technically. Oh no, I do have more sand. I hate it. Why are they break? You don't have to break every door. so dark. It gets so fucking dark. Oh my goodness. Am I technically safe here? I don't know. I'm gonna go straight up. I've alerted more of them. That's fine. Be alerted all you want. This is fine. I don't see any of them. They can't get me up here. Reload your textures. I want to see what I'm doing. see me. <laughs> I 
I still plan on getting that captain stash. I just need to like maybe do it from the outside of the boat. I'm not fully sure how I'm going to do it yet, but we'll figure that out. Maybe I can use ladders. That does seem very dangerous. Hmm. I just have a bunch of junk in my inventory right now. No matter. Stuff like that and that I don't need to carry around so much. Well, that's fine. Okay, I think we can... <laughs> Safe-ishly go. Safely-ish. Take a little peek. Did they get over that wall? No. Okay, good. The Yattering and Jack. Took a break here. Why the powers? Long may they hold court. Long may they shit light on the heads of the dead. Had sent out from hell to stalk Jack Polo, the yattering couldn't discover. Whatever, whenever he passed a tentative inquiry along the system to his master, just asking the simple question, what am I doing here? It was answered simply with a swift rebuke of Fort's curiosity. None of its business, came the reply. Its business was to do, or die trying. And after six months of pursuing Polo, Yattering was beginning to see extinction as an easy option. This endless game of hide-and-seek was to nobody's benefit, and to the Yattering's immense frustration, it feared ulcers. It feared psychosomatic leprosy, condition lower demons like itself were susceptible to. Worst of all, feared losing its temper completely and killing the man outright in an in uncontrollable fit of pique. What was Jack Polo anyway? A gherkin importer? By the balls of Leviticus, he was simply a gherkin importer. His life was worn out, his family was dull, his politics were simple-minded, and his theology non-existent. The man was... Uh, no account. No, one of nature's blankest little numbers. Why bother with the likes of him? This wasn't a Faust, a pack maker, a soul seller. This one would look, wouldn't look twice at the chance of divine inspiration. He'd sniff, shrug, and get on with his gherkin importing. Yet the yattering was bound to the house long night and longer day until he had the man a lunatic, until... He had the man a lunatic, or as good as. It was going to be a lengthy job, if not indeterminable. Yes, there were many times even psychosomatic leprosy would be bearable if it meant being in... Inval... Invalided off this impossible mission. It's not invalidated. Uh, for his part, Jack J. Polo continued to be the most unknowing of men. He had always been that way. Indeed, his history was littered with the victims of his naivety, naivete. When his late lamented wife had cheated on him, he'd been in the house on at least two of the occasions watching the television. He was the last one to find out. And the clues they'd left behind them, a blind, deaf, and dumb man would have been suspicious. Not Jack. He pondered about his dull business, never noticed the tang of the adulterer's cologne, nor the abnormal regularity with which his wife changed the bed linen. He was no less disinterested in events when his younger daughter, Amanda, confessed her lesbianism 
lesbianism to him. His response was a sigh and a puzzled look. Well, as long as you don't get pregnant, darling, he replied and sauntered off into the garden, blithe as ever. <laughs> what chance did a f <clears throat> what chance did a furry have with a fury, not furry, fury have with a man like that? To a creature trained to put its meddling fingers into the wounds of the human psyche, Polo offered a surface so glacial, so utterly without distinguishing marks as to deny malice any hold whatsoever. Events seemed to make no dent in his perfect indifference. His life's disaster seemed not to scar his mind at all. When eventually he was confronted with the truth about his wife's infidelity, he found them screwing in the bath. He couldn't bring himself to be hurt or humiliated. These, these things happen, he said to himself, backing out of the bathroom to let them finish what they'd started. Che sera, sera. Che sera, sera. The man muttered that damn phrase with mo monotonous regularity. He seemed to live by the philosophy of fatalism, letting attacks on his manhood, ambition, and dignity slide off his ego like rainwater from his bald head. <laughs> the yattering had heard Polo's wife confess all to her husband. He was hanging upside down from the light fitting, invisible as ever. And the scene had made it wince. There was the distraught sinner begging to be accused, bawled at, struck even, and instead of giving her the satisfaction of his hatred, Polo had just shrugged and let her say her piece without a word of interruption until she had no more to unbosom. She'd left at length more out of frustration and sorrow than guilt. The Ethering had heard her tell her bathroom mirror how insulted she was at her husband's lack of righteous anger. A little while after, she'd flung herself off the balcony of the Roxy Cinema. Oh, shit. Her suicide was in some ways convenient for the furry fury. With the wife gone and the daughters away from home, it could plan for more elaborate tricks to unnerve its victim without ever having to concern itself with revealing its presence to creatures the powers had not marked for attack. Interesting. Okay. Wow. You know, big old Zeus. Uh, gonna be mentioned. Hopefully the algorithm doesn't understand me. Probably will. It's okay. I don't monetize these anyway. Okay, so hopefully... It means the sounds like it's it's clear the base underneath me seems pretty quiet oh okay thought i was using the wrong axe kind of am do i have a wood one down I can hear. I've been coming out of this pretty unscathed. Good thing I Are they all still down there? Really? much that'll help but whatever okay so i think it's down and about here so what to do Okay. 
Oh boy. Feels like cracking into a kinder egg. Full of death. Why do I suddenly hear them? Why do I hear you? Why do I hear you so clearly? This is nuts. This is going to be so hard. Okay. Use these throwaway blocks first, and those second. Too high up, I need to get further down. Okay. This is a no win situation now. I need to go a little bit further down. All it takes them is being alerted enough to, like, go for it. Oh my god, the tension! got to be it. Bye. <laughs> Let's go. Holy shit. The brain wasn't even processing what I was seeing in there. Wow. Jeez. Okay. I just need a moment's peace to like... Examine what I got. Five diamonds. Oh, a couple of bundles. Nice. I think these. I don't know. These books will help. I make a gun. I might be able to make a gun. I don't know if it'd really be worth it. I don't think I have. I don't have gunpowder, so I can't really do anything. Okay. Okay, make a food bag. Cool. Some shit I need to drop. Just hang on to that. The bottles of enchanting are going to be good for yet, but I'll hang on to it. That I should just change into gold bars, though I'm not sure what I'm going to use gold for. Guess I could make efficient tools for like cutting or digging real quick, even if it's short lived. Enchanted golden apple, hell yeah. I think I need right away to get to make use of this. Let's make use of the diamond. So, what am I thinking here? I'm thinking axe. I 
pretty good. Maybe it should have been a pickaxe in retrospect. All right, whatever. I'll keep this for cleaning up my inventory real quick. I think it's like really cluttered. Okay. A lot of blocks along the top here, a lot of tools there. Not sure what the plan is now. That's all I'm going to get from that thing. Now, if I enter the city, it's dangerous. That's the only way I can get more stamina is if I can get, if I can break some uh, spawners. This ain't gonna go well, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> hey, nice. <laughs> oh, fucking no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. You know what? I'm chicken shit. I don't want anything to do with this. We're gonna go a short distance west. Mostly you want to be able to go north, right? I don't know. Did I come in this way? No, I didn't. Yes, 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 yes. This is where we're staying. Come on. Okay, bud. Uh, uh, I don't have any emeralds. Shit, what do you buy? What are you buying? Gold. No, 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 no. That's not for... Damn it. Oh, this place is going to get so bad in a second. Excuse me. Sure. Um, I got the room to carry it. I'll take it. Thank you. Sorry, sir. You're fucked. You're so fucked. Okay. Uh, use some wood for some of this. Okay, I'm not going to leave you completely in the dark. Here, you can have that lamp back. Good luck. Oops. Just that's, that's pretty solid. Okay. Take this fence down. This is where I'm spending the night, apparently. Nothing has seen me, so should be fairly good. I'm not even going I'm not even gonna break the windows to barricade them. I'll just put shit up in front. Like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, we're doing okay.
think that's mostly where I want to be, right? Why? There. Holy crap. breaking in downstairs? I think I need to go up. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Don't like it. It's just it's just sounds just fucking me up. That's all it is. Okay. There. None of them can see me or get to me. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to tell when it's daylight. Uh There we go. Fuck. I feel like I'm still fucked up here, too. What would I get? Some regeneration? I need the fencing. Who knows? Could be like a short term way to keep some at bay. Pay attention to the subtitles. The blocks breaking that are gonna at me in the end. Oh, yeah. How many gold bricks do I got? Help my gold as I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make day nine. I think I'm finally a parody. Okay. Good. Five of them. Not bad, not bad. Cross that away. We're in there. Turn this. Better. Don't need that right now. I hear it all downstairs. I need everything all the time, all at once. I wish I had more tool belt. <laughs> more and more space, I mean, in my tool belt. Hang on to that. Yep. Hang on to those. Those are resources. Okay. They sound close. They better not be getting closer. I'm going higher. <laughs> there, this is how we'll know. We'll know daylight by that slit. We'll know if they're coming for me. Because <laughs> I'll see them break through that. Okay. Wow.
Oh yes, this little demon guy. I'm the really bland man. The bland man. Mm. Okay, we were... But the absence of the wife left the house empty during the days. And soon... And that soon became a burden of boredom uh, the yattering found scarcely supportable. The hours from nine to five alone in the house often seemed endless. It would mope and wander, planning bizarre and impractical revenges upon the polo man. Mob alerted? Must have seen me from outside. Lock broken? I was one block broken. Is it random or are you trying to get at me? I see another one. I see another one. Oh. It'll soon be so it'll soon be all zombie voices if they break through. Campfire. Okay. Okay. I'll be grounds. I'm not doing nothing. You should not be coming after me. I'm being so quiet. Da, 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 da. Pacing the room, heart sick. Champ, companioned only by the clicks and the whirs of the house as the radiators cooled or the refrigerator switched itself on and off. The situation rapidly became so desperate that the arrival of the midday post became the high, high point of the day. And an unshakable melancholy would settle on the addering if the postman had nothing to deliver and pass by to the next house. When Jack returned, the games would begin to would begin in earnest. The usual warm-up routine. It would meet Jack at the door and prevent his key from turning in the lock. The contest would go on for a minute or two until Jack accidentally found the measure of the yattering's resistance and won the day. Once inside, it would start all the lampshades swinging. Man would usually ignore this performance, however violent, violent the motion. Perhaps he might shrug a mummer subsidence under his breath, then ine inevitably chasera sera. In the bathroom, the yattering would have squeezed toothpaste around the toilet seat and have plugged up shower head with with soggy toilet paper. It would even share the shower with Jack, hanging unseen from the rail that had held up the shower curtain uh, and mummering obscene suggestions in his ear. That was always successful. The demons were taught... Sorry, that was always successful. The demons were taught at the academy. The obscenities in the air routine would never fail to distress clients, making them think they were conceiving of these pernicious acts themselves and driving them to self-disgust, then to self-rejection, and finally to madness. Of course, in a few cases, the victims would be so inflamed by these whispered suggestions they'd go out on the streets and act upon them. Under such circumstances, the victim would often be arrested and incarcerated. Prison would lead to further crimes and a slow dwindling of moral, moral reserves, and the victory was won by that route. One way or another, insanity would would out. Except that for some reason this rule did not apply to Polo. He was unperturbed, a tower of propriety. Okay, it looks like it's daylight out there. It's super quiet too. I'm going up through the roof. from I think the door was water side but now it looks like both sides as I aggro every villain hi
Oh, I don't know which way I tra traveled from. All those sounds. Run. Motherfucker, run. Go. Go, go, go. Ooh. Oh, that's neat. Really, the buffalo's going for a swim. Do I have anything chasing me? Like a chicken? That's it? Okay. Got another city here. Early enough in the day, I can attempt this. Okay, it's a raccoon. Looks like a zombie nurse in a certain light. Jolt it got me. Doesn't actually see me. Or it does. coming for me already this is real quick okay I don't want to be here anymore I hate the sound <laughs> no I'm well equipped You too. Did I block you in somehow? for metal doors. See a chest there. Yeah, it seems to be metal on all sides. Let's see. Desaturated due to hunger. I don't know where they're gonna come fucking barreling from. Um, here, pick that up. 
the shit I don't need here. I can just toss it in there. There and there. I'll take your bones. I'll take your string. And oh, your redstone. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I want that. I want. Okay. Thank you. Fuck. Can't tell if it's safe to go in this one. Whoa! There's so many of them. Oh, I don't want to go inside a building. I gotta be real sure if whoa, I'm going inside somewhere. Uh, I'm also running running out of daylight. No, just get out of here. Um, I should get on top of the roof of a building. Come on. going to be terrible. The noise is going to be just terrible. Yeah, I think it'll mostly be fine if they... Oh. They generally can't see me and can't spawn around me. Fuck no, don't. Don't perceive me. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine right- Why? How? 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 There we go. Okay. Wow. Um, let's assess here. Do I not have a furnace anymore? Oh, I dropped. I lost it off the side of something. That's right. Shit. Okay. Well, I have enough iron. Ooh, I have enough diamond or iron. Probably use diamond to make a pickaxe. I hate it. Oh, 
Oh, do I have enough to make a compass? You think I have enough to make a compass? Because that's what I want to do. You know, if I keep talking, they won't be as loud. If I could cook this iron, I'd have enough to make a compass. So I'm just going to table that for now. But I do, I do want to make... Uh, Cool. So that's a good thing to have. So I have that. I think I'm gonna toss those for now. I assume that the building underneath me is just getting riddled with more zombies just spawning in. Okay. If I find any wolves, I could have the wolf companions, maybe. Mob alerted. Whoa! Where the fuck did he come from? I'm panicking. <laughs> Panicking. There is a lot of zombies. There's a lot of them. What's fun is I think that one of my mods makes it um, does shit the closer it is to Halloween. And I think another one is. That's it. That's all I could do. That's all I'm doing. Anyway, one of them makes it harder every 10 days, I think, spent in in game. And what are we? Oh, we're on day 10. Oh. Well, personal best is now 10 days. We're going to hit day 11 soon. Wow. Oh, man, he must have dropped from that building. Looks like there might be like a stairs access, which is how they could come up. I don't think they're they're really good at going up ladders, so I think they still can. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna stay up there. That's what we're gonna do. Book Titan. Hmm. Need to make some tea soon. Let's see, where the hell are we? Hmm. That's right, the rule didn't apply to Polo. Indeed, the way things were going, the Yattering would be... The way things were going, the Yattering would be the one to break. Oh, the Yattering would be the one to break. It was tired. So very tired. Endless days of tormenting the cat, reading the funnies in yesterday's newspaper, watching the game shows. They drain the fury. Lately... And developed a passion for the women who lived across the street from Polo, or the woman. Uh, she was a young widow and seemed to spend most of her life parading around the house stark naked. It was almost unbearable sometimes in the middle of the day when the postman failed to call, watching the woman and knowing it could never, it could never cross the threshold of Polo's house. This was the law. The Addering was a minor demon and his soul catching was strictly confined to the perimeters of the victim's house. To step outside was to relinquish all powers over the victim, and to put itself at the mercy of humanity. All June, all July, and most of August, it sweated in its prison, 
and all through those bright, hot months, Jack Polo maintained complete indifference to the Adderings attacks. It was deeply embarrassing. It was gradually destroying the demon's self-confidence, seeing this bland victim survive every trial and trick attempted upon him. The Addering wept. The Addering screamed. In a fit of uncontrollable anguish, it boiled the water in the aquarium, poaching the guppies. Polo heard nothing. Saw nothing. At last, in late September, the Addering broke one of the first rules of its condition and appealed directly to its masters. Autumn is hell season, and the demons of the higher dom uh, dominations were feeling benign. They c condescended to speak to their creature. To their creature. What do you want? asked Beelzebub, his voice blackening the air in the lounge. This man, the Addering began nervously. Yes. This, this Polo. Yes. I am without issue upon him. I can't get panic upon him. I can't breed fear or even mild concern upon him. I am sterile, Lord of Flies, and I wish to be put out of my misery. For a moment, Beelzebub's face formed in the mirror over the mantelpiece. You want what? Beelzebub was part elephant, part wasp. Yattering was terrified. Oh, we just hit day 11. Okay, Let's, we'll get back to that in a second. Oops. What's it look like? Ooh. Okay. I mean, they all seem to be fucking off. Let's see where that one came up. I see another builder in the distance there. Oops. Okay. Try to get down. Let's see what happens. We'll see what shall come for me, or I'll take my platform apart, but I could try to fly over to that roof. In fact, that is a great idea, and we're good. Deal. Yeah, drop that. I don't know where I got these extra things from. Okay. Okay. That's fine. There's nothing to this building. see any spawners and I don't see any treasure. Oh jeez. Oh shit. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, hey, my first emerald. That's the first building I started at, that's right. This is a decent point of reference. Cave, a long cave. No, not not risking it. <clears throat> anything, anything, anything. Ah, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, stop it. them all. There's so many. Is there a mine shaft down there? Is that what I'm seeing? This is so weird, whatever trick this is of the renderer. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> no, I don't care about you sheep. Wow. A train generation. Great. No. Oh, I will kill you though. Come here. Thank you. I don't care, it's a sheep. Gunpowder? That's something. Means I can make bullets. Are you coming for me, cow? I'm coming for you, cow. Fuck you! Okay. Another city. More damn forest. Die. There we go. Okay. Doing some weird things. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that's another city. I assume. Okay, let's just keep going. I'm going around it. I'm not interested in a city at this time. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. It's not entirely safe, but... Yeah, let's, let's go for the tower.
poison. Okay. Orb to ponder. What we got? All right, amethyst. Or poison. There's more to this. I need to go further up though. Uh, before. Do not catch a glimpse of me. That's part of it, right? Oh, it's raining. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm keeping the orb. I think I'll be safe here. I don't see why they would suddenly attack. I need a cow's head. Don't need the orb. That's pretty round. Okay, I got I got some organizing here to do. Oh, I don't have I don't have a fucking normal furnace. It must be oh. Okay. This is really freaky. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever, whatever. Um, come on. More dirt. Do I have a shovel? No. Okay. Come on. There we go. to that pick. In fact, I don't even need that pick out until I need that pick. Where are we at? Where are we at? That's enough. A little bit more stone for good measure. Okay, good enough. Mobbing guest investigating jack shit, you mean? Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to be safe in here for the night. This is the furthest I've made it. That's great. Oh. I'm going to get the cooker out as well. Alright, I need... use that that's fine that's totally totally fine oh i have more wood in here too okay uh i need to cook the iron 
how's this doing? Do I have more food to cook? No? Okay. Easy enough. So, I want to make a gun. I need flint, sticks, iron. Do I make an iron gun or a different kind of gun? Oh, because I think I have. Oh, I thought I had diamonds. My mistake. Okay. So, boop, boop. 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 Aha. Gun. Cool. Ah, here we go. I'm like, I need iron for... For that. Oh, I can make... Just a few shots. 32 shots. Okay. That's not bad. There. Let's put that away. Amethyst. I need this and some copper to make a spyglass. So I don't have the spyglass stuff yet. Store that. Oh, I should have made a compass. Ah, okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah, that seems like a useless block to have. I know, I need that. This is just a building block. Store that. My sack of food. I guess I don't need... Well, I have a bow and I have a gun. So I have options, I guess. Again, so much garbage in my inventory. I'm trying to, like, parse it with my eyes here. Okay. Okay, this needs to go... There. That's fine. Hmm. I feel like all this miscellanery, that's what I can soak up with this. It goes pretty well. That's good enough. Nice. Cool. I'll just remember that it's in there like that. You know what? I don't think I'm going to get mending. Just take that. Didn't I get a book at one point? Oh, I did. Uh, I haven't seen anywhere. But I, this will go with that. Once I... Once I find an anvil. Yeah, that makes sense. That, those together, those together. This is just a rando. Put that in. All the stuff I don't really need right now. <laughs> that there. Okay. It's decent enough inventory management. Random building block. I'm not going to need those for a bit yet. Same with that. This is 
Station, station, block. Or block for later, block. I don't know why I have this. Okay. Is it the next day yet? Is it day 12? No. It's dark and raining. Okay. 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 I think that's done pretty well. I don't know where I'm going to go from here. I guess the goal now, see if I can oh, make a base. Oh. Day 12. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you, assholes. I want to free a city, or like, at least take it over to oh, this one's just not it, though. I don't want to find a village. Okay, how did I happen across this? Like, I'm trying to remember the way I came up when I saw this and ran for it. I feel like that's the way I want to go. Boat handy. There we go. Oh. Oops. I didn't mean to do it like that. That worked out. Did I do that already? No. Nothing. Okay. Is that just a chicken? Oh, hey, a house. So dark because of the rain. What the hell? What the hell was that? It was you fools. Step right up. Turn into a zombie. They're collecting the hay again.
Hey, bub. What do you got for me? I don't want your old knife. I don't want your old knife. Here, have some zombie flesh. Oh, I, I have emeralds. One second. Let me check my backpack. What can I get for one emerald? I'll take five of your cooked chicken, sir. Let's go. Amazing. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Okay. Why does there seem like there's a, is there an attic? There is an attic. We don't want to be here. This is not a good place. Where'd I come from? There. Going this way. Oh boy. No. <laughs> I do want to crest that hill, though. <laughs> oh boy, how far? I don't know. This way more? That's a pillager thing. I do not want anything to do with that. Nope, oh, this way, this way. Alright, well, I'm gonna go try to crack that open. Nothing stops me. Is it sitting on top of another one? Oh no, okay. Just happens to be empty. Fuck. Awfully tempting. If I can, like, somehow pillar up past it. Maybe I can land on top. Kill them going all the way down. Or wait till nighttime and have all the zombies take them out. These are all possibilities. careful really don't want them to notice me must have finally cleared up thank goodness all the better to hear them I haven't seen or heard any yet Pretty far up now. I don't know why VLC just randomly like this top application. What's happening here? Also, where are they?
Oh. Okay. I have control of the top now. Didn't know about that. diamonds now. That was a sick find at the top here. I don't know if I need a crossbow. I fire faster with a bow. Yeah, I'm gonna let you out, bud. Before nighttime hits. Free. Oh. Not dead. drop that I it's it feels like that's weighing me down here let's do this and this Dropped a frame or two there. Interesting. Oh shit. Okay. Where's that stuff? Oh, where's the uh, where's the iron I just had? Yeah. Okay. Huh. One more block for me. Feels like a waste to carry right now. Let's not carry it. The zombies will be able to see me here. I've not really thought this through. Disassemble your furniture. Oops. Okay. Well, I seem to be doing okay. So far, no zombies. Just, just pillager mummering.
just faffing about, making sure <laughs> that wall is well secured. Cool, now we just wait for morning. Or zombies, whatever comes sooner. tea from hours ago is not satisfying. Just double checking my stuff. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, where were we? Um... I want to die. You cannot die. From this world, just die from this world. Fade away, be replaced. You will not die. But I can't break him, the uttering shrieked, tearful. You must. Hold up. Trying to get at me, but it couldn't. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You must. Why? Because we tell you to. Beelzebub always used the royal we, though unqualified to do so. Let me at least know why I'm in this house, the Adderang appealed. What is he? Nothing. He's nothing. Beelzebub found this rich. He laughed, buzzed, trumpeted. Jack Johnson Polo is the child of a worshipper at the Church of Lost Salvation. He belongs to us. But why should you want him? He's so dull. He's so dull. So I had to move the window over so I can see that little slice on the side. Make sure they're not coming at me. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. He's so dull. We want him because his soul was promised to us and his mother did not deliver it. Or herself come to that. She cheated us. She died in the arms of a priest and was safely escorted to. The word that followed was ananthanum. Ananthema. The Lord of Flies could barely bring himself to pronounce it. Heaven said Beelzebub, with infinite loss in his voice. Heaven, said the uttering, not quite knowing what was meant by the word. Polo is to be hounded in the name of the Old One and punished for his mother's crimes. No torment is too profound for a family that has cheated us. But I'm tired, the uttering pleaded, daring to approach the mayor. Please, I beg you. Claim this man, or you will suffer in his place. The figure in the mirror waved its black and yellow trunk and faded. Oh, hello. Newcomer to the chat, Master Master Virginity. Hello. Welcome. Currently reading uh, The Yattering and Jack from the Books of Blood while I wait for daylight, which looks like it's almost at. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Uh, where are we? Let me at least know why I'm in this house. Heaven, claim this man. Or you will suffer. That's right, they faded. Where is your pride, said the master's voice as it shriveled into distance. Pride, yattering, pride. Then he was gone. Uh, I think 
Maybe I'll stop there because it looks like it's daylight. Well, shit. Are we about to hit day 13? While I'm at the top of this pillager tower? Time to crack into it. Okay. Why do I have carpet in my hand? Um, I need blocks. That. That'll do. I think the gun's gonna do better. No, I should use the bow first. Save the gun. Okay. That looks fine. Alright. Time to crack on. Yeah. Oh, you didn't die from the zombies, did you? privacy for this layer. Sounds like the zombies are at the door. See if I can quickly grab all this stuff. Oh, shit. Should have sent him flying. This feels vulnerable. The zombies could just drop down to where I am right now. Shit. My armor's fine. Uh, do I need any of these stations? No. The grindstone. No. I need a. I need an anvil. I don't have a bucket. Do I have? Shit. Do I have iron for a bucket? Nope. Can't take the lava. Amazing. Yeah, I think we got it. Is there anything there I need? There's some barrels. I don't need any of this stuff. In fact, in fact, let's get out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like this tower. I survived the night. It's time to... Ooh, get on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where do I want to go? I want to go... Here? So glad I have this thing. Oh, is that a shrine? Oh, sweet. What's that? Oh, some ruins. All right, come on. Come on. Land. Land, 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 land. Good enough. Okay. 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 Nope, don't want nothing to do with you, don't worry. Oh, this is the ruins of a town. Oh, I never really... S Whoa, wait a second. Oh, that's an alligator. Okay. Hey, there's people. Oh, is that a vagabond ruin? Oh, sweet. There might be something in there. I think I could swim across. Oh, I can hear them. I can hear them. I can hear them. Oh, is that going for the villager? Can't tell. Come on. Ooh, 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 too close. A hell of a lot too close. A hell of a lot too close. How do I get in? 
Oh. Okay. Look at this. We got a village and a city nearby. Jeez, that scared me. Thought that was something shooting at me. Okay. Hey, buds. Hey, Bayo. Huh? No. How about you, bud? Thought there was a vagabond between you. Yo. Besides all this, is there nothing here? Oh, this is a waste of time. No, you're Bayo. Damn it. There's the vagabond. Hey, before you turn, what do you got? I have nothing you want. Fine. Nope, nope, nope. I'm here for your meat. Thank you. All right, let's crack this open then. Feels like it could come in handy. Okay, I guess to the town next. Yeah. No zombie chickens. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, we got we got a lot of structures in this area. They, this ain't bad. Got all these people here. Surviving just outside the city. Oh, I am hungry. Look at all them villager warriors set to protect the city. Oh. Look like they have a smith. I'm looking for on specialty buildings. What am I aggroing? Okay. Okay, I'll take your oh. Apparently I won't. Hold on. Store that. I don't need all of that, but whatever. You can have my carpet. Now, let me take your emeralds for trade. Food for eating later. Yeah, I guess just store that like that. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> them to their what they're doing there. What is this? Is this part of a building? Oh, we got Tavern Keeper. Hello, Tavern Keeper. You got any money? You have some... Palinka? That doesn't seem very good. And we have... Oh, weird. Sorry, it looked like my OBS was screwing up a bit there. I guess it's fine. Um, what do we have? Beer? Sure. Take that. Thanks. What can we do with 
four emerald cooked mutton. I can get a lot of this. I'm going to get a lot. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. So, best of luck. Oh, fuck. Shit. That bounced. How'd that bounce? Why'd that bounce? Oh, that's a swarmer. Come on. Oh, we're just, we're straight into this. Damn it. They're breaking down the doors already. Whoa! 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 My fucking arrow bounced. Running away from all that noise. Thank you. I'll hang out with all these folk. They'll protect me. Yell zombies? Yeah, get them. Give me the pig. Aha. I have all the food forever. Yeah, I'm not short on... Oh, it's a new moon. Okay. Okay. Oh, right over Gorge, too. Brilliant. Oh, come on, glitch. Stop glitching, glitch. Mm. Okay, we're going straight up. as we can go. That's good. Hey. There's only one of them now. Did the rest die? Okay. I haven't heard a zombie in a little while. That's a good sign. Okay. Oh, let's take a let's take stock of stuff here. Um, wow, let's toss some of that. You know what? I don't want your apples. <laughs> How much room do I got? Do I got enough room here? Boom, nice. Hey, we got a lot of meat to cook. Hey. Be what the campfire is finally for. But before I do that, let's make sure I don't lose my items. Aha! Uh -huh. Amazing. This is going to take a little while, isn't it? I need to smelt. There we go. Just burn that. Ah, no, 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 no. This is what I was afraid of. Hurt myself and bleed out and <laughs> inform the zombies. Cool. You know what? I'm done with this bow. I'm done with this arrow. It's 100% gun time. Um, 
I do like that you can mix and match what goes on there. Okay, so I got that. Um, so what did I want that for? Do I have enough? Do I have gunpowder? Oh, I do have gunpowder. I thought I had redstone. Oh, I do have redstone. Okay. Just too much stuff. Just like that. Put that on. Um. Where is it? There it is. This stuff could be consolidated and just staring out. Just I go a little blind just looking at that. Wow. All right. I need compass. Thank you. Oh no, why is my compass mod not working? Shit. Shit. Was that a mod or a data pack? I can't remember now. It works on my other on my on my server. Uh, I'm gonna have to find out next time. That super sucks because I can save it up to do that. Alright. Uh, I can make ammo, though. Even if it doesn't show me the recipe, I know the recipe. Oh. I need one more iron. Of course. I use the iron for the compass. Okay. I have a lot of miscellaneous stuff here. Let's uh, bag diamonds, gold, iron. That makes sense, right? Hard resources, fuel, gunpowder. Oh, I have enough leather. I can. Am I missing anything? I can make some pants. Hell yeah. I have a little bit more armor. That's happiness. Fuck those apples. Okay. Guess I can drop the carrots now at this point. I have enough meat on me. Wow. In fact, I be I do well with just that. Oops. Feeding the hungry masses down there. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Yep. You know what? Can't do anything with that. <laughs> I could get a spyglass now. I think all I need is one of those. I think I can toss that. There we go. Spyglass. No? Oh, it's two copper? Are you kidding me? There. Fine. Yeah, I just toss all my junk over the side. How stupid do I have to be to do something like that? Do 
give me that spyglass. Boom. All right. Okay, no reading on this night. Was that, was that another shrine? Nice. Fire sound hasn't stopped. They're getting louder, but they can't see me, and I don't I haven't seen the mob alerted yet. Day 14. Well heck. Doing good. Try to reclaim as much as I can, right? Oh. Put that away. Need that a little bit more readily. Let's hang on to that for now. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, look at that battle going on over there. Wait. Waha! Waha! Let them go. Look at you go. Oh, they don't drop loot if uh, Golem kills them. Good to know. Hmm. All right, I want out of here. Oh, shit. I almost didn't have the right thing on. I almost jumped to my death. Oh, that would have been bad. Anybody actually coming after me, or is it just like animals coming aware of me? Yeah, I see. But is there a spawner? I don't see a spawner. Those are what I need to take out if I want to secure a building. There's one. Yes. I got two. Wait. Oh, I have four. I have enough for a thing. That was amazing. That was quick. All right, let's go try to cash that in. What the heck is after me? Was there not a shrine? Yeah, there's the shrine. Yo. Heart container or stamina? Let's go heart container. Fuck yeah. I have 11 hearts. I am unstoppable. Don't go that way. Oh shit, don't go that way. <laughs> I thought it was a cow for some reason. Alright. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, I came from this direction. Oh. A lot of them are coming for me. Okay, that's fine. Let's stay over here. They'll protect me. Yeah, I'll take care of you. which one's your zombie. Here, I got it. There. Take care of the zombie threat. Good sirs. Oh, 
Don't mind if I do. Bottom of his trunk. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go in the water. No. Where am I going? Guess we're going this way now. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, there's so many. They're fast. Go, 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 go. Just like staring at a zombie while I'm eating steak. <laughs> okay, that'll slow them down. Just kind of blindly running in this direction. See what I find. Wow, look at that mountain. Crazy. Okay, I see some water here, but I don't see how it connects. I need my boat. Damn it. Where the ducks get me. Or chicken. Chicken. Cool. Another city. Maybe I'll be lucky. Maybe it'll just be small. Ooh, gorge. <laughs> Two big buildings. Three buildings. I think I could take this. If we can get to the top floor, that would be ideal. Lock that up, board that up. Not today, chicken, not today. I just need two seconds. Come on, guys. Just give me two seconds. There's the book. There's the book. What? And there. Sixteen zero point six seven. Okay. This just gets way more accurate. I love it. I love it. doesn't go any further down sweet okay I think I've secured 
this building. Some door is shaking somewhere. But it ain't my door. Okay. I think I could take these over. I think this is it. This is the most successful we've been. I'm just switching up the music just because it's being a little weird. Everything looks good. Okay. Ooh. We got this beside us, too. I don't have a lot of torches, though. Do I have a way to make more? One, one coal. No logs. They can do the same there, can't they? Oh, they totally can. We're just doing <laughs> doing that. Uh I gotta be like as high up as possible. Uh, uh, switch, switch, switch. Yeah. Just in case they spawn down there. I gotta be up here. Okay. Okay, I have some time. Okay. Let's chuck that. Chuck that. That's fine. Oh, I have two charcoal. Sweet. Okay, that's more torches. Amazing. Let's go. There. Now, I don't think they'll actually spawn up here. Maybe I can get back down to this one. Okay. This feels safe. Hey, burp. Eyes in the dark. Okay. Is there anything I can... Is this worth taking apart? I think it just has wood. Hmm. Nope. Can't really use any of those. So in theory... This is all... Safe! Oh my god. Fuck. Ah. That was so close again. I'm glad I found a way to push past. Oh. What? Where? 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 Where are you coming from? I don't know if I can read. I don't know if I've been like... Uh. They're real mad. Come on, show your faces. 
Well. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's just go. That's not what I meant to do. This is going to be more work later. There we go. What? What? I don't care if you can see me. I am safe. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. Keep an eye on things. See if we can get some reading in. Wow, this is this has been this has been an experience. It's been 14 days straight now. Like, straight in the game. <clears throat> okay. Reading time. Mm. Where were we? Where is your pride? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Then he was gone. In its frustration, the Addering picked up the cat and threw it into the fire where it was rapidly cremated. If only the law allowed such easy cruelty to, to be visited upon human flesh, he thought. If only, if only. Then he'd make Polo suffer such torments. But no. The Addering knew the laws as well as the back of his hands. They had been flayed on to its exposed cortex as a fledgling demon by its teachers. And Law 1 stated, Thou shalt not lay palm upon thy victims. It had never been told why this law pertained, but it did. Thou shall not. So the whole painful process continued. Day in, day out, and still the man showed no sign of yielding. Over the next few weeks, the gathering uh, killed two more cats that Polo brought home to replace his treasured Freddy, now Ash. The first of these poor victims was drowned in the toilet bowl one idle Friday afternoon. It was a petty satisfaction to see the look of distaste register on Polo's face as he unzipped his fly and glanced down. But any pleasure the Addering took in Jack's discomfort was... Oops. Page 42. I'm just hitting Burrow again. Hopefully it lets me. There we go. Was cancelled out by the blithely efficient way in which the man dealt with the dead cat, hoisting the bundle of soaking fur out of the pan, wrapping it in a towel, and burying it in the back garden with scarcely a mummer. The third cat that Polo brought home was wise to the invisible presence of the demon from the start. It was indeed an entertaining week <laughs> in mid November when life for the Yattering became almost interesting while it played cat and mouse with Freddy the Third. Freddy played the mouse. Cats not being especially bright animals, the game was scarcely a great intellectual challenge, but it made a change from the endless days of waiting, haunting, failing. At least the creature accepted the Addering's presence. I hate it. I hate it. Eventually, however, in a filthy mood, caused by the remarriage of the Addering's naked widow, the demon lost its temper with the cat, he was sharpening his nails on the nylon carpet, clawing and scratching at the pile of, for hours on end. The noise put the demon's metaphysical teeth on edge. It looked at the cat once, briefly, and it flew apart as though it had swallowed a live grenade. The effect was spectacular. The results were gross. Cat brain, cat fur, cat gut, everywhere. Polo got home that evening exhausted and stood in the doorway of the dining room, his face sickened, surveying the carnage that had, be, that had been Freddy the Third. Damn dogs, he said. Damn, damn dogs. There was anger in his voice. Yes, exalted the yattering anger. Uh, the man was upset. There was clear evidence of emotion on his face. Elated, the demon raced through the house, determined to capitalize on its victory. It opened and slammed every door. It smashed vases. It set the lampshades swinging. Polo just cleaned up the cat. 
Yattering threw itself downstairs, tore up a pillow, impersonated a thing with a with a limp and an appetite for human flesh in the attic and, and giggling. Polo just buried Freddy third beside the grave of Freddy second and the ashes of Freddy first. Then he retired to bed without his pillow. Wow. The demon was utterly stumped. Uh, sorry. I was just noticing it's just about daylight. The demon was utterly stumped. If the man could not raise more than a flicker of concern when his cat was exploded in the dining room, what chance had he got of ever breaking the bastard? There was one last opportunity left. Why would it be the last one? Uh, we'll have to stop there. Or pause. Day 15. Well, I was unsuccessful in cleansing that bottom floor. Holy shit, they got close. What the fuck? How? How did they even get there? They're really going for it. They must have, like, just braked and spiraled their way up. Oh, I need... Now they're just gathering down here. In in here now. Yeah, come on in, gentlemen. This is where the show's at. Come on in. Through the front door. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Oh, I see a crocodile. Gonna, gonna try to avoid that. I wish I knew how to, like, swoop properly. There we go. That stamina bar back. Let's go. I mean, it would be wicked to be able to kill the Ender Dragon on hardcore. On horror hardcore. Oh, thank you. Rain. Rain was driving me crazy. I don't want to hear it anymore. And for buildings, villages. Cool. Uh, 
I'll make for more torches. Another city. Oh. Fuck. Why? Do I keep dropping my lanterns. Oh, that's a total waste of ammo. Why am I doing that? There, gotcha. So dark. Well, this one's much bigger. It's, it's gonna be terrible. Is that elephants? Hello, elephants. Wow, that drew a lot of attention. Oh, fuck me. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where... <laughs> Get me out of here. Holy hell. No, thank you. Avoid cities. Avoid the cities. At least for right now. Right for now. I need iron. I think this is just... I gotta keep scavenging. I over wolves and get some doggo companion some dog companions that would be great that would be great <laughs> nothing okay let's hit the water Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, fuck those seagulls. Okay. I I have no plan. There's no plan here. It's Fuck, am I really near a jungle? I'm a tank. Is that why my FPS keeps tanking? Oh. Hi. Huh. What is this thing? Should I bother? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Go, go, go. 
What is happening? What in the fuck was that? I didn't know what I was doing there. I just messed that up. Okay. Okay. I'm trying it again. I'm trying it again. This this way this wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Let's try it again. They're just pouring out like a clown car. And now it's going to be dark and I have nowhere to go. Oh no! Oh no! I know what that is! I know what that is! I don't know how to outrun it! I don't know how to outrun it! Get to that land! Get to that land! Get to that land! Oh my god! 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 That's not land! That's not land! That's not land! Go! 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 We need... No! 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 It was a skeleton thing. It was an undead sea creature. I didn't have blocks to pillar. That was going so well. Otherwise. Day 15, eh? Yeah, this doesn't matter. Okay. Wow. That so was a four hour run that I made 15 days. Oh, I don't think I have another one in me. Yeah. I gotta think about this. I'll start World 19. We'll start it. Oh yeah, there's something uh, that was messed up. Um, compass thing. Don't see it. Hmm. Cool. Well, I'll have to make sure to add that because I was expecting it when I was going into that. All right, last bit of story time. Hmm. He was approaching Christ's mass, the cha and Jack's children would be coming home to the bosom of the family. Perhaps they could convince him that not all was well with the world. Perhaps they could get their fingernails under his flawless indifference and begin to break him down. Hoping against hope, the Addering sat out the weeks to late December, planning its attack with all of the imaginative malice it could muster. Meanwhile, Jack's life sauntered on, seemed to live apart from his experience, living his life as an author might write a preposterous story, never involving himself in the narrative too deeply. In several significant ways, however, he showed his enthusiasm for the coming holiday. He cleared his daughters' rooms immaculately, he made their beds up with sweet-smelling linen, he cleaned... Uh, every speck of cat's blood out of the carpet, he even set up a Christmas tree in the lounge, hung with iridescent balls, tinsel, and presents. Once in a while, as he was... I want to check. Okay, yeah. Once in a while, as he was about the preparations check, uh, thought of the game he was playing and quietly calculated the odds against him. 
In the days to come, he would have to measure not only his own suffering, but that of his daughters against the possible victory. And always, when he made these calculations, the chance of victory seemed to outweigh the risks. So, he continued to write his life, and waited. Snow came, soft pats of it against the windows, against the doors, children arrived to sing carols, and he was generous to them. It was possible for a brief time to believe in peace on earth. And that's a good spot to end. Page 43. I'm going to take a screenshot. Show that. And. Oh, God. Computers can barely do it. This world is jungle. Come on, load in. Mostly for the world creation right now. Uh, okay. There we go. Save and quit. And I mean, really. I think we call it there for tonight, folks. Um, oh, I should check to see if there's anybody to raid. Any of my friends. I don't raid the bigger streamers because I don't have anybody usually hanging out. Raid any of my. Huh? Hmm. Don't see anything. Hold on. See, Lucky Bones is online. No, I don't seem to be, I don't seem to have any viewers in chat anyway, so we're just going to call it there. So for anybody who is watching on YouTube or later, uh, I just want to say take care of yourselves and each other and have a good night. Ciao.